A very good morning, students. We are in our regular class lecture, and the subject is mining geology. And today's topic of discussion is the open cast mining, and this will be the part one. And for this topic, I referred the book, the course in mining geology by Arogya Sami, and textbook of mining geology by Umatya. So, what is open cast mining? The open pit mining or open cast mining is a surface mining technique of extracting rock or mineral from the earth by their removal from an open pit or burrow. So the open cast mining or open pit mining is something when you are taking out the valuable mineral from the surface by making pits and burrows is called as a open cast mining, right? And this form of mining is differ from extracting method that requires tunneling into the earth. So there is other kind of mining which that we will discuss in the later part of our lecture series that is the underground mining where you will be making tunnels, shafts, all that sort of thing to reach the ore body and take it out from the surface. So that is the difference. The main difference is that in terms of open cast mining, the mineral will be having direct contact with the atmosphere. Whereas in terms of underground mining, the mineral may not be in the direct contact with the atmosphere as it is in the greater depths. There will be some shafts, tunnels, cross set, edit, all such a parts to reach the mining portion or to reach the economically valuable mineral. Okay. So this is what open cast mining is that you are taking out the economically valuable minerals by making pits and burrows to reach the economic minerals. Right. Is that clear? Okay. So why should we go for open cast mining? There are three possible reasons to go for open cast mining. The first one is that the mineral deposit occur on or near the surface are suitable for working by open cast method of mining. So when you are mining say a mineral uh, it is called as a, say limestone or lignite or whatever it is. If that deposit is near the surface then we will go for open cast mining. If the mineral is say in greater depths, we should not go for open cast mining as it takes a larger volume of rocks and soil that lies above it as a overburden. So if the mineral is near the surface, the overburden thickness will be very less, right? So by the removal of such an overburden may not be very costlier. So that is the first possible reason why should we why we should go for open cast mining. The second reason is that this method is applicable so long as removal of ore burden and the extraction of ore body does not become uneconomic. Okay. So when you are going for open cast mining, you have to remove the overlying rock which is an overburden as well as the economically valuable mineral which is lying just below that. Right. So you have to invest lot of amount and machineries to take that out. So when you are investing larger amount, the return should be higher than the investment that you had invested for removal of overburden as well as the whole body. If that is the case, then we will go for over open cast mining. If the investment is uh, higher than the uh, returns what we get, then you should not go for open cast mining. So that is the second condition when you are uh, say removing the overburden as well as the whole body and the returns what you get should be higher than the investment what you had invested. So that will be economically viable, right? The third reason why, should, why we should go for open cast mining is that the development period of open cast mining is much shorter. Say when you are going for mining, you have to take leases from the government for a certain number of years, right? So if the lease period is lesser, then you should go for open cast mining as it doesn't take a longer period to start extracting the, uh, sorry, removing the economically valuable mineral. When you are going for the underground mining, definitely it will take longer time when compared to the open cast mining. So this is one of the reason why we should go for open cast mining. So these are the three reasons why should we, why we should go for open cast mining. The first reason is that the mineral should be near the surface, right? The second reason is that it should be profitable to take out the overburden as well as the economic mineral. The third reason is that if it, it takes a shorter time for development. So these are the three reasons why we should go for open cast mining. So let us see how to go for open cast mining, right? So this is the second thing. The method consists of forming benches or steps working phase both for removal of ore and ore burden. So you can see the image in the background, right? So that you can see there are steps or benches. So what is actually step or bench? This is when the breadth is say lesser then it is called as a bench. If the breadth of the working area is larger then it is called as step. That is the difference. So this type of uh, making excavation is called as uh, making steps or benches and this is made to remove the overburden as well as the over body. So for both the things you have to go for benches and benches or steps. Okay. 
This method is method of working may be manual, semi-mechanical, or mechanized, depend upon the scale of operation and machinery used. So this open cast mining can be made in three different ways. One is manual, that is a completely using of a human instead of any machineries. Say in the earlier times, it will be like this, right? So when there is no any development of techniques, technologies, then the human might have been digging the steps and uh, making the steps and benches for the removal of whole body. So this is the very first method. If, when there is a development of machine and machines, then you, they will be simultaneously working both. That is the human also along with the machines used to work for the recovery of four minerals. And finally, when the de development has been in the higher stage, only human is used to control the machines. That is in which direction the machine has to extend or which in which direction it has to progress like that. So these are three different methods of open cast mining. The one is manual, it is uh, human used to work in the region for every task. One is semi mechanized, which is human as well as machine work together. And the third one is completely mechanized, only human used to control the machines for the propagation and uh, for the progress, right? So when it is manually operated that is the manual method of adopted then shape size and quality of the deposit is such that large scale mining is, mining is not feasible so when the deposit is very smaller on the quality is likely very less investing larger amount in machines is actually not feasible so in such a case manual method is adopted the second reason is that ore occur as thin bands and the sorting is required so we have to work in the field to separate the gang or overburden from the ore body. Human is required. So that is the second reason. And the third one is the small production is required. So when the patches are small, we can work in small patches. So humans are only reliable in terms than the machine as machine can't separate it. That is different between the ore body as well as the gang or overburden. Okay. And the next reason is that capital investment is limited. When the investment is very less, then you should go for the labors only, right? Instead of using machines because it needs more investment to buy the machine or even bring the machine to the field itself, right? And the last one is that cheap labor is available. So when the labors are available at a very less cost, then you should go for manual method of uh, open cast mining. The width of the bench is not less than two third of the height so as to work all the benches simultaneously. So when you are making benches in open cast mining, it should be having a relationship like two third of the height so that you can work all the benches at the same time. Not only that, the width of the bench should be sufficiently wide in mechanized mines to accommodate shovels, excavators, loading tank and dumpers. So when you are semi-mechanized or even mechanized, then the Width of the bench should be very, uh, larger, right? So they, uh, the trucks and all the other uh, machines can move uh, forward and back, right? So for such reasons, such reasons, the bench should be having a larger width. So this is how open cast mining is done. So we had seen what is open cast mining, why we should go for open cast mining, then how you should go for open cast mining. So let us see the, some of the types of open cast mining. In general, pattern of open cast mining is general pattern of open cast mining is benches or stead as i mentioned earlier itself working phase various techniques have been used in open cast mining they are the first technique is loading by hand that is when you are going for manual method then this is used that is the trucks may be used to transport but the human have to lift the broken rock to the truck so such a method is called loading by hand the second one is the loading by machine and there are five subcategories. The first one is the drag line, then power shovel, then scrappers, then land dredges, then overburden bridge or T bridges. The third one is the glory hole, which is uh, one of the material of open gas mining that we will discuss. Then we have a Carolyn mining that is started in the Cornwall. Then we have strip mining. So these are the main subdivisions of open cast mining. So we will see the first one that is loading by hand. So you can see the image by which you can understand what it is. So when the ore body is broken by say using blast or using machines or, or breaking by human itself, you have to lift the ore material and you have to transport it. So for lifting and transporting, for transportation they can use say cable way, rope way or track or anything. But lifting the ore material from the surface and loading it needs human. So such a kind of uh, loading is called loading by hand. So 
when it is feasible or why should we go for this one so the first reason is that when a larger investment is not warranted then they will go for loading by hand the second reason is that when the mineralization is erratic only human can find the difference between the mineral deposit as well as the overburden or gang so they can separate it there itself and they can load it so for such a condition and for propagation of mining itself human can decide the direction so here where the mineralization is erratic you can go for loading by hand the third one is that where mechanization is likely to prove inefficient so the machine used to break everything whatever it comes in forward right so only human has to decide in which direction it has to go or human has to decide whether the volume or say thickness of rock which has been broken all such things should be decided by the human who was working there so in such a condition when the mineral is erratic then when the then the machine will be likely to ine uh, prove inefficient right so we have to use human for breaking as well as loading the fourth reason is that when large scale working is possible with cheap labor whatever is available they will go for open cast mining and they use loading by hand technique and the last reason is that where selective mining with sorting is called for so when the overburden gang and ore have a different ratio right so when in some places the ore maybe uh, maybe have a larger thickness and some other places may ore may be having smaller thickness so human have to be standing should stand there and differentiate it and you have to separate it that is sort it in the field itself so in such a condition also they can, we can go for loading by hand so these are the five reasons why we should go for loading by hand the first one is the large investment will not warranted the second one is the mineralization is erratic the third one is that machines are proving in proven inefficient the fourth one is that large working is possible with cheap labor and fifth one is that selective mining with sorting is called for okay is that clear so with this i am completing this video we will continue this heading with the second and third uh, part of this video thank you